So this is Asclepius incarnata. Asclepius incarnata. The swamp milkweed. So Asclepius, again, comes from uh, the Greek god of medicine and healing, Asclepius, uh, who is, as far as Greek gods go, uh, pretty cool. Uh, incarna incarnata uh, literally comes from the word incarnate, which means in the flesh or the flesh. So think of like the incarnation, you know, uh, thinking of, of God coming down in the flesh, the incarnation. Uh, so incarnate just means flesh. And, uh, and I think actually um, it's more so from uh, the color incarnate which is more of a pinkish color because if this is strictly off of uh, flesh, uh, then that's the pinkish flesh that I've seen uh, and kind of gross. <laughs> So Asclepius incarnata, it uh, usually likes its feet wet, so it's a little more of a wetland. It's commonly called swamp milkweed. Um, uh, it's got these, these gorgeous pink flowers, five-parted flowers, and we'll get a closer look at those here in a second. A wonderfully smelling flowers, kind of bubblegummy smelling, kind of, I think more of like a light rosy smell. Um, uh, but anyway, we won't get too much into the smell. You can smell it yourself and make your own opinion. But it, it grows, you know, three to six feet, up to six feet tall, I think. Um, I've seen some pretty big ones. So looking at these flowers, you can see that the petals drape down, the petals drape down, and they're this pinkish color. They're this, they're more often this really nice, hot pinkish color. You can see that, uh, the draped down petals, um, the draped down petals there. And they kind of curl up on the bottom as well. They, the petals curl up a little bit on the bottom. Uh, and then the, the hoods, the hoods are pink. Um, sometimes you, we can see this kind of being a whitish, a whitish color. You can see those petals draping up. Look at those, those horns. If you're not smelling this flower, you're checking out these horns. I mean, they, they rise above the hoods, the, the pinkish white hoods. Um, and then that white gynostigium. Look at that white gynostigium there. How awesome. Look at that. And uh, check out the, uh, the Sclepius mor flower morphology video if you don't know what I'm talking about. So these flowers max out at like eight to 10 millimeters. So they're not very big, relatively speaking. And you can see they're in this umbel, this umbel, they all come to that central point. And the umbel is not really ball-like. It's more, you know, uh, flat top to see how it, they kind of all kind of go up and like tabletop. I can't show you without it moving around all over the place. Um, yeah, so let's, let's quickly look at the leaves. So like uh, most of our milkweeds, all but one here in the Chicago region, it excu excludes, it, it goos out this, uh, these, this white latex. This leaf here, it's going to be toothless and it tapers from both, it tapers from um, both sides. So you can see it tapers there and then somewhat tapers to slightly rounded base here. The only other species that we have up here that does that, that I can think of off the top of my head is Asclepius exultata, Asclepius exultata. That, those leaves are gonna be wider. Those leaves are gonna be a lot wider. Uh, and the flowers are gonna be bigger as well um, in white, um, and kind of greenish white. Um, it's gonna be hairless or glabrous, hairless or glabrous. They're opposite. So they're gonna be oppositely arranged along the stem here, oppositely arranged along the stem here. Take a look there, oppositely arranged along the stem. Thing to note here is that you, oftentimes Asclepius incarnata is branching. Asclepius incarnata is branching, especially on that upper half. So you can see here, there's branches and branches on that upper half, which, uh, uh, which sometimes, especially on bigger specimens, really looks cool. It really looks cool. Um, and the, the stems are, are pretty much hairless. The stems are hairless. Uh, and then when it goes into to fruit, when it goes into fruit, it's gonna have these, these follicles are gonna be, are gonna be more linear. They're gonna, they're gonna be smooth. So they're not gonna have all these warts on them, big warts or protrusions like you're gonna see on the big old fat um, Asclepius syriaca uh, fruits. The Asclepius syriaca fruits. Also, this, if, if you haven't noticed, um, these flower heads, these, uh, these inflorescents, these umbels, uh, they are kind of like a, a, a pollinators and insect fast food, um, fast food joint. You know, a lot of, a lot of different insects come through and there's a pollinator, an actual pollinator, not like a butterfly, which is like oftentimes a pseudo pollinator. You know, we get all hung up over that. I'll do a video on pollinators sometimes and upset you all. Um, but here's a good pollinator. This is a bumblebee. It's a bumblebee. Um, 